आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंस राम अनुजन अ जीनियस हु लव नंबर दिस इज द स्टोरी ऑफ अ जीनियस हु वॉज इन लव विथ मैथमेटिक्स ही हैड एन अमेजिंग सेंस ऑफ पैटर्नस हिडन इन द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ नंबर्स He had enormous creativity and imaginative intuition. Part of it came as a result of his intimacy with number relationships, and that came from his working like a musician who practices scales and rhythms. He worked with numbers as a painter does, mixing his colors, trying things on the canvas, selecting or sometimes rejecting and then trying something else and thus creating patterns beauty is the first test what is color for a painter words are for a poet he had the passion of a poet as he used to write formulae like a poet using and choosing his words and weaving a composition full of melodies and emotions turn of the 19th century year 1900 town high school in kumbakonam classroom of third form equivalent of present day 7th grade and it was a period of mathematics मैथमेटिकल प्रॉब्लम विथ यू वेन अ नंबर इज डिवाइडेड बाई द सेम नंबर द रिजल्ट इज ऑलवेज द सेम लेट मी एक्सप्लेन इट With this example, suppose I have thirteen bananas, and I have to divide them amongst thirteen students. 13. Then, how many bananas will each one get? Sir, can I tell the answers? Well, Swami, okay, you can tell. Stand up and tell me. Sir, one. One banana. Very good. Yes, one banana. One Sit down, banana, Swami. Answer. One banana. Is the Why? Because thirteen divided by thirteen is one, is it clear? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay, and once again, suppose we have one thousand bananas, one thousand bananas, and we have to divide them amongst one thousand persons. One thousand persons. Then think and tell me, mm. how many bananas will you each know. one get? I should, should I tell? Should I tell, sir? Subramaniam. Well, go ahead, Subramaniam. One banana, sir. One Very banana. good, right. So now we reach a conclusion. What is it? If you divide any number by itself, you will always get one. Mm. Did everyone amongst you follow this? Yes, yes sir. sir. Very good. Sir, you always again and again repeat. Suppose this and suppose that. How nice it would have been if you could have bought not thousand. But few real bananas and dividing among us, we would have got at least one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't entertain wishful thoughts, children. But remember this rule. Does this rule apply to zero also, sir? If zero is divided by zero, will we get also one? What I want to ask is that if zero or no bananas are divided among zero or no one, will each still get one? What is this absurd question, sir? The rule cannot be always applicable because the dividend will not be nothing if zero is divided by zero. Right. Why not zero divided by zero is one? <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Are you testing my knowledge in mathematics? Zero bananas when divided among zero people will not give any banana to anyone. Reason being, zero is indeterminate, so it cannot be divided. Yes, he's right, sir. He is Ramanujan, and do you know, sir, he has topped in the primary examination in the entire district of Thanjavur. Well, okay, very good. Congratulations, Ramanujan.
That was brilliant Srinivasa Ramanujan, 13-year-old, ordinary-looking, shy, but chubby boy, with a big, bright, dreamy eyes. Ramanujan came from very ordinary poor family. He was born on Thursday, December 22, 1887, in his grandmother's house in Irode. Irode is a small village about 400 km southwest of Madras Presidency, the present state of Tamil Nadu. But he grew up and spent almost half of his life in Kumbakonam. Like his ancestors, his poor father, K. Srinivasa Ayangar, worked in Kumbakonam as a clerk in a sari shop. His mother, Komalatamal sang devotional songs at a nearby Sarangapani temple. This pilgrimage town is known for its temples and handlooms on the bank of River Kaveri. The Ganga of South 225 km south of Madras, now Chennai, in the district of Tanjavur. Five-year-old Ramanujan was enrolled in Kangayan Primary School. But young Ramanujan was interested neither in books nor in toys. What fascinated him was numbers. Just before completing the age of 10, in November 1897, he passed his primary examinations in English, Tamil, Geography and Arithmetic. He stood first in the district and he entered town high school. 11-year-old Ramanujan, known as Wizard Boy, had mastered arithmetic, geometry and harmonic progression he lent a book on advanced trigonometry written by S. L. Loney. He mastered this book by the age of 13 and discovered sophisticated theorems on his own. When he was 15 and a student of class 10th, he obtained from a friend a college library loaned book titled A Synopsis of Elementary Results in Pure Mathematics. This 1886 published book was written by a mathematics tutor, George Shoebridge Carr, in London. It was a dry as dust print of the coaching notes of 6165 or so propositions, formulae, theorems, geometric diagrams, methods of analysis with abridged demonstrations. This book is not in any sense a great one but it awakened the genius in Ramanujan. In 1903, he passed matriculation examination. S. Krishnaswami Ayer, headmaster of town high school, was on the stage to declare. Good morning, students. I am pleased to announce that Ramanujan has passed matriculation examination with distinction in mathematics. <laughs> he rightly deserves this year's K. Ranganatha Rao Prize for Mathematics. Were it possible, he deserved higher than the maximum possible marks. An A plus or 100% will not do to rate him. His achievement in mathematics is very highly commendable. Ramanujan, on the strength of his good school work, was awarded Junior Subramaniam Scholarship to study further at the Government College in Kumbakonam in 1904 to 1905. This college was one of the best colleges of South India. His aim was to pass the first arts or FA examination. This course with subjects mathematics, physiology, Greek and Roman history 
and English was corresponding to a degree of intermediate or plus two of the present system. It would have given chance to be admitted in the University of Madras, but Ramanujan failed in FA examination. In 1906, Ramanujan went to Madras, where he entered Pachayyappa's college. There also he failed. Two years later, on 14th of July 1909, his mother, Komala Tammal, arranged his marriage with a pretty, ordinary looking, bright eyed village nine year old girl, Janaki. She was the daughter of a distant relative. Things for Ramanujan, except the mantle of adulthood, as Janaki was sent to her mother in Rajendram. They did not meet for the next three years. To save Ramanujan from struggling between passion for mathematics and pangs of hunger, P. V. Sheshu Ayer, mathematics professor, government college in Kumbakonam, wrote a letter of recommendation to Divan Bahadur. Ramchandra Rao, who was collector of Nellore district in Andhra Pradesh, about 170 kilometers on madras Kolkata Highway, north of Madras. Ramchandra Rao was also a founder member and the first president of the Indian Mathematical Society. Sir, May I come in, sir? Oh, young man. You seem tired and depressed. How can I help you? I'm Srinivasa Ramanujan, sir. Uh, my nephew R. Krishna Rao has told me that you are a mathematical prodigy. And oddly, you are a college dropout. Sir, sir... This is a letter from Professor P. V. Seshu Ayer of Government College, Kumbakodam. Oh, I see, I see. Hmm. Professor Seshu Ayer has written that you have some notebook. Uh, have you brought that, Ramanujan? Yes, sir. Oh. Should I read some theorem from it and, and explain, sir? No, no, no. Uh, you just give it to me, Ramanujan. As you like, sir. I don't know that much mathematics that I can understand and make sense of it. Here is a simple one, sir. Uh, uh, maybe these are not that complicated and ticklish. But the books that I have read, these were not there. But I am impressed with your mathematical brilliance. Where do you reside? Sir, uh, in the boarding house, Summer House, Swami Pillai Street, Madras. Hmm. But why in Madras? <laughs> I cannot live with peace in Kumbakodam, sir. Here at least I can do my mathematics. So what do you want from me, Ramanujan? I simply want, sir, kindly just make arrangements for my meals so that I can concentrate on mathematics without any disturbance. I mean, I need some work and financial support, sir. I'm prepared to do any job, sir. So you want some job and some spare time for pursuing your dream of mathematical interests? Nothing more than that. Yes, I mean that only. My daily needs, sir. Nothing is more important to me than mathematics, sir. No, no, no. I am sorry. At present, I cannot offer you a job. Your mathematical talent will be wasted here, in this small place. I... I understand. But Ramanujan, go back to your boarding house and concentrate on your studies. I'll do whatever is possible to support you, till at least you get some regular job. <laughs> How can I thank you? You are indeed kind and generous, sir. No, it's all right. Thank you. Thank it's, you so much. It's all right. It's all right, Amanjha. Right. 
and then on ramanujan began receiving monthly money order for 25 rupees with his financial support 1911 was a good and hopeful year for ramanujan after publication of a brilliant research paper on bernoulli numbers in the same year in the journal of the indian mathematical society he gained recognition for his work next year in early 1912 he was appointed to his first job in the accountant general's office in madras this temporary job with a salary of 20 rupees per month lasted for only a few weeks towards the end of that assignment he applied for a position of a clerk under the chief accountant of the madras port trust oh shrinivasan you yes me you know i've heard a lot about you and your fame ramanujan people are calling you a genius oh, is that so what did you say myself and a genius are you joking <laughs> look at my elbow that will tell you the story oh what is this ramanujan why is it so rough black and dirty <laughs> my elbow has become black and hardened in making me that genius i do all my mathematics by handwriting on the slate and use my elbow for erasing <laughs> just like this <laughs> this quick flip to wipe takes no time when i'm caught up in the throes of my work than reaching for a piece of rag cloth my elbow is making a genius of me but why do you do maths on slate why don't you use paper paper i can't afford it i have not enough money for my meals from where will i get money for paper i need 4 reams of it every month tell me honestly how do you manage money for food why don't you take a job i was getting money order every month from diwan bahadur ramachandra rao collector of nellore then what is the problem what is the cause of your worry Uh, no i i do not want to depend on others i feel terribly ashamed just last month i i returned money order of ramachandra sir now now what are you going to do i had applied for the post of clerk in the account section of the madras port trust i am going to join on 9th of this month fine but how much is the salary Uh, salary 25 rupees a month well it is not bad to begin with 25 rupees for a young man of 25 years <laughs> <laughs> With the help of his colleague Ramaswamy Iyer he was able to publish two papers in the journal of the Indian Mathematical Society his case for scholarship was recommended and was brought before the syndicate of Madras University Ah oh, it's it's really it's really an outstanding case yeah um, so yeah. It's time uh, we should right, right, we should start proceedings right, right, right. Okay gentlemen this is not a routine case and in this regard the university should take some extraordinary steps Sir how is this extraordinary uh, it's it is extraordinary because the candidate has unusual qualifications yes yes and the candidate in question is not ordinary he is s ramanujan hmm. who is he we are least interested in him actually we should remain informal certainly if we are not impartial then there is a danger of blame of favoritism but the problem of favoritism does not arise gentlemen uh, the board of studies in mathematics has examined the scholastic abilities of the candidate 
they have assessed his published work. They have found the candidate sufficiently talented. And we are considering that he should be recommended for a scholarship. Board can do in its wisdom, but we have to see whether it is according to rules and norms. It may be right for anybody, mm -hmm. but it should be strictly according to regulation. Otherwise, it can create trouble for us. But gentlemen, nobody should have any doubt regarding the candidate's mathematical abilities. The assessing mathematical abilities is not the issue. I think it is the task of the syndicate and there are enough competent people in the committee. This has already been done. We have the application papers of the candidate in front of us and we find that he has only passed matriculation examination. The eligibility for this scholarship requires that the candidate should not be less than IMA. Gentlemen, I do agree with you. A rule mentions that only. I but would... Please, I would like to draw the attention of learned members of the syndicate that candidature of Ramanujan has been recommended by Professor Gilbert Walker only. All of us are familiar with him. He is the director of Indian Meteorological Department. He is also FRS, the fellow of Royal Society of London. Professor G.H. Hardy from Cambridge University has found his work extremely interesting. Yes, yes. He has appreciated his mathematical potential. I need not tell what status Professor Hardy has in the world of mathematics. Respected members have misunderstood me. We have no doubts regarding the scholastic abilities of the candidate. We respect his talent. All of you know, we are bound by the rules and regulations. The candidate would have to pass the examination of MA. In your opinion, his passing of MA examination is more important than his exceptional mathematical talent? Sir, rules require MA. They are totally silent about talent. Hmm. So, gentlemen, then... Uh, we regret we cannot accept the recommendations of the Vice-Chancellor. No, such talents are rare and are not born now and then. I understand. Our university is not an institution of law. It is an institution of education. At the same time, it is an institution of knowledge. Our this decision may... We have yet not taken any final decision. We are just pointing out our difficulties to award the research scholarship to Ramanujan. Oh, well, it seems to me that law is demanding its price. We are restrained. Rules are before us. You may tell us the way. We are willing to proceed. Can I say something? Yes, Justice Sundaram. Go ahead. I want to draw the attention of Syndicate towards the role of University Act. It clearly states the University is duty-bound to promote research. The applicant has amply proved that he has exceptional abilities to pursue research in mathematics. If university is not going to take benefit from his work and encourage research, then it will be failing in its duties. These rules are made by the university itself. The rules that are impediment to the objectives of the University Act should be treated as irregular and improper. So we agree and we recommend Ramanujan should be awarded a research scholarship of rupees 75 per month. Indeed, the University of Madras did give Ramanujan a scholarship in May 1913 for two years. And so, he was able to put his heart and mind in mathematics. He continued writing mathematical theorems and solutions in his notebooks. 
At that, nobody thought that one day his handwritten notebooks would be photocopied and scanned to be kept in the almirahs of the libraries throughout the world. And each page of this mathematical treasure will challenge the mathematicians. This is not the end of the story. In the next episode, we will narrate how a gem of mathematics reached up to the master of mathematics of another land. and how the rest of the world came to know his extraordinary contributions this unique collaboration of two contrasting personalities was a clash of different cultures beliefs and working styles one was shrinivas ramanujan a poor devout south indian brahmin self taught original mathematician and working as an ordinary class 3 grade 4 clerk in a poor trust and the other It was G. H. Hardy, an aristocratic British atheist and eccentric don of mathematics in the world-famous University of Cambridge. Hardy was an apostle of proof, strict adherence to mathematical rigor. Ramanujan relied very strongly on his intuition. For Ramanujan, proof was an entirely alien concept, and an equation has no meaning. unless it expresses a thought of god ramanujan a genius who loved numbers research script and coordination dr jitendra singh artists rajat sen gupta sushil nand gorav bakshi kunal and manohar khoshlani child artists sumit saroha ashish saroha and m elam paridi recorded by batilang lingdo program assistants vimlesh choudhury and geetika unyal sound editing production and direction by ajit horo and presented by c i e t NCERT